Hi guys, I'm gonna do a review of Lack of Color hats today. If you're into Instagram and have been scrolling and seeing all of these fabulous rancher style hats, most of the time they are lack of color. And the reason I know that is because a lot of bloggers will tag it via Shop LTK and you can see the brand and you can see where they're from. So Lack of Color has been around since 2011. It's an Australian brand that has kind of exploded onto the scene here. They have tons of different hats and they do have men's hats too, but what they're really, really known for is their women's rancher hats in kind of their neutral colors in the really pretty caramels and tans and beige. Normally I'm not a beige girl, I love it, I just don't love it on me because I look like a toe, it just totally washes me out, it's not a cute look. But I found this caramel rancher hat and I was like, okay, let me give it a go, I've been wanting to try them for ages. I'm not often a hat person, they don't normally suit me, so I figured I'd give this a go. I ordered it from Revolve because um, lack of color offers different sizing if you're not sure what size you are they do have a sizing chart on their lack of color website and then you can order the small medium large whatever size you need and they also um provide kind of if you need them hat inserts so it can kind of if it's a little bit big but you don't want to size down a full size sort of inserts or if the small is too big for you just to make it fit snugly because the last thing you want on a windy day is to be chasing your hat down the street so First of all, I was really impressed with the packaging. Some people said they didn't come packaged well and they were all squished in the box. This box like this was inside a, another box. And then I've already had it out once. I've been trying it on, actually more than once because I've been wearing it. I took it to Oregon with me and I put it in this so it didn't get damaged whilst traveling. It has another piece of cardboard in here. It has the paper. I'm just gonna chuck this everywhere because my cat's gonna enjoy playing with it on the floor. And then it has the foam over the top just obviously, I might, I'm gonna probably keep this because it will keep um, prevent dust from kind of settling in this. So this is the Lack of Color Caramel Rancher hat. Um, it is women's, but they do do men's ones as well. What I kind of like, there is a difference between cowboy and rancher hats for the summer and the winter. It's kind of like, it's a, more of the done thing than kind of a set thing, especially in fashion. Um, it's just to kind of do the straw styles in the summer and then go to the warmer wool and felt styles in the winter. Lack of color tends to use 100% wool or 100% Australian wool in their ranches, so they're nice and cozy and warm. There's also, so I haven't really done too much with my hair today. I like to do a center part and I kind of like to do a lot of volume when I'm wearing rancher hats because otherwise it can look a little severe or you can look like you've got no hair, which is fine if that's your thing. But I kind of like to have a lot of hair and put it all to the front and around my face so it kind of fills it in. It doesn't look just too stark. So that's just one of my personal styling preferences when it comes to rancher hats. The other thing, there were loads, I was like reading through, it's like how to wear rancher hats, how to style rancher hats, do's and don'ts, etiquette, all the rest. There's a lot that goes into rancher hats. A few of the things they were saying is, obviously when you're going into a building, when you're eating, they always come off. That's definitely like a no-no to kind of be going, especially in churches, going to a church with your hat on. Um, I know, I know it's a bit of a pain because you do get hat hair wearing these and a lot of the time you end up with the ring around your head, not necessarily cute but I tend to try not to wear makeup on my forehead if I know I'm gonna wear a hat because it prevents makeup coming off on the rim and getting dirt everywhere. It doesn't sweat under there and it leaves less of a mark because it's not taking off the makeup where the hat band's been. So one of the things we're saying is when you take it off, you never show the inside of your hat. And I didn't know that. You're not supposed to show anyone else. It's only for you, the inside and the brand. The other thing is to never touch someone else's hat. So hands off my hats. Um, but anyway, there's just a kind of few cute little do's and don'ts and a kind of, I think it is important, but it's something that can be, you know, it is part of some people's cultures. So you don't kind of do it the wrong way or to offend anyone as much as possible. I mean, it's not impossible to be, it's not possible to be perfect, but I think it's important to try and respect other people's cultures. Anyway, moving on. So lack of color, their hats, if you find a lack of color sale, they are brilliant. You can normally snap one up for under a hundred dollars. You can also find, it's not just these, they do have kind of some like some, caps at the moment they have bucket hats they've got straw ones i might try their straw ones for the summer now that i know the brand and my sizing so i ordered a small it is quite snug on me i'm five foot two i don't think i have a ginormous head um i probably should have measured first but i think if i'd gone with the medium it would have been too big and i didn't want to deal with a hat adjuster so i think the smalls are good for me um what else can i so 55 centimeters is the small and it's spot cleaning so if you get it dirty, then you're probably best to give it a bit of a spray. If you've got an Ugg protector spray or something like that, just protect it. And it's not a hat you're gonna throw on the floor anyway. Just keep it stored away nicely and don't throw anything on top of it, all the obvious things. So the price point for lack of color hats, normally for their kind of rancher style hats in all the different colors, 
oh my god they've got a beautiful blue red and pink right now that i'm totally crushing on thought this would be versatile but now i've got this I'm like, i want the bright blue one and i want the red one to go with my red coat might become a new obsession but anyway back to the pricing so lack of color pricing i think is pretty fair for the quality they're kind of normally between 129 129 129 and 149 um, unless you find them on sale and then the quality i found is really good these are pretty sturdy it's got the really nice kind of accent bow on there as well, which is really, really pretty. It's really well on there, so it's not going to slide off. Can you see? It's got all this kind of really almost like invisible stitches and four points on there to keep them on there. That color is just gorgeous. I've tried to do this in natural light for you so you can really see the color. And then it's obviously got this on the rim as well. So let me pop it on so you can see. Okay, so that is it on. It's a very different look. But do you see why I say I like to have my hair around my face even if you tied it back i would kind of do something looser just so it kind of frames it versus it being like that which really isn't as feminine or flattering well i don't think it is anyway so that's my styling tip for you get a load of hair going on in the front and as much volume as possible i use the dyson air wrap because i find it does create a load of good volume so and then how far you down you place it is going to come down to you and your comfort level and i've got quite a long forehead but i do like to be able to see the eyebrows and it is kind of the classic way of wearing it is just to straight on. I know some people kind of like will wear them like that, which is totally fine, but that would fall off my head. I don't want to be faffing around with things all day. This stays on. That's good for me. Ooh, and then you're left with some crazy hair. If you want ideas for kind of how to style rancher hats, rancher hat outfits, honestly, they go with pretty much everything. I know kind of the norm is to throw them on with jean shorts or jeans, plaid shirt or a sweater dress and kind of cute little cowboy boots. But don't just think Western when you think kind of rancher hats. Honestly, you can wear them with everything. I really like wearing them with maxi dresses. You can wear them with cute little summer floaty dresses, chunky boots, slides. My cat's into the hat box. He loves them. So yeah, really get creative with the ideas. Don't feel like they're just for fall or just for the pumpkin patch or your cowboy outfits. Really play around with them because then you can get more wear out of them and all about the cost per wear. And then so you can see the size. A lot of people were saying in the review, so don't get confused with the sizing versus that kind of the dimensions of the hat when people are saying about sizing because a lot of people say the lack of color rancher hats run big they don't run big size wise they're big as in like the brim is quite wide so you might be knocking a few people out you're going to keep your personal space and then the height of them is quite tall as well but i like that oh another thing i picked up when i was reading about the do's and don'ts is you should always try and adjust your hat by the crown not by the brim i also think that's a really good tip because it's not going to kind of dishape shape misshapen the sides as much so all of the boys do that and they're saying obviously take it off that way as well and um, for me i would probably honestly take it off like this with two hands because i find it easier but anyway just a few kind of like fun little tidbits i found whilst i was looking up so definitely so lack of color i'm really was it hit and miss i'm really really happy with lack of color i think it's really good quality for the price point i love the different colors and i like that this is like a really rich caramel color well it's called caramel right versus a beige that's going to wash out a lot of us blondes and i just think the size it's a statement hat it's not your delicate little hat but i think it's a good size and especially if you're wearing kind of the straw ones in the summer or you're looking for kind of more sun protection it really creates a lot of shade as you'll see from the photos in the blog i'm like okay forget about trying to get light on my face there was a lot of shade going on so yeah if you have any questions about this i got mine from revolve i'll drop the link below to my exact hat it will be an affiliate link doesn't affect the price to you anyway in any shape or way but if you have any questions on lack of color on this hat on the brand or my experience with them drop them in the comments below i love hearing from you don't forget to like this video and subscribe